Hey guys, Slim Kirby here, back for more Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Good job, Karen. Way to kill that soldier. Okay, it looks like General Kasatai is attacking Nephany. That is a big mistake. Very big mistake. I reckon Nephany will kick your ass. So, uh, Kasatai is actually wielding a weapon called the Brave Lance. Now, I think I discussed Brave Weapons already in an earlier episode, but if not, I'll just do it very quickly. Uh, uh, brave, brave Weapons always give you a double attack. And sometimes, if a speedy unit is using a Brave Weapon, you can actually get four hits in one battle. So, the equivalent of an, a unit that could attack only once would attack twice, and then one who would attack twice would attack four times. So it's a very useful weapon. The only thing is, uh, the weapon uses go down very, very quickly for obvious reasons. Right here, I was kind of hoping for a Zahart critical, but nope, he only left the unit with one damage left, so... Kind of disappointing. Not going to cry about it, though. I'll go ahead and heal Boyd since he was lacking some HP. And then we're going to move on. Just taking a look at the area right now, seeing what units I have to worry about. Got some mages over here that I need to worry about. And then there's also a, a bishop over there with a sleep staff. The sleep staff puts your units to sleep. And while you're asleep, you can't move them. They can't counterattack. And whenever an enemy attacks them... Uh, they'll automatically have a 100% chance of hitting you. So that is a very dangerous status ailment. Make sure you have some units uh, defending a sleeping unit. Or if you have a unit that has a restore staff, make sure you use it right away. That's my only advice for dealing with sleep. Very, very dangerous. Not as dangerous as the Berserk staff in other Fire Emblem games, but... Since it's not in this game, I'm not going to really worry about telling you what it does. It's very dangerous. Let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> ah. Felt something in my throat. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Oh, well. Probably from that cereal I had earlier. I don't know. moving the units forward. Nothing really to talk about right now. I do want to make a few shoutouts though. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate Megafreak400. He uh, hit 100 subscribers recently. Very good work, Mega. He's been doing this for almost... Uh, I want to say he's been doing video projects for about 10 months now. And over time, he's improved a lot. Uh, he started doing Paper Mario back in uh, last summer, and he's just done a few other projects, and he's improved every step of the way. His video quality is pretty good. It's uh, He films uh, with a camera pointed at the TV, but I wouldn't say that really defines a bad project. I mean, he has some very interesting commentary, and... He is really the master of nostalgia, if anything. Uh, he knows a lot about specific video games. And he knows references, he knows video game references really well. Uh, for those of you who uh, kept tra kept up with my uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 Let's Play, every time I finished a world, he would know all the references of all the characters that would appear in the levels. So He is really the master of nostalgia. He knows a lot. So uh, when he uh, does his projects, adding that little bit of nostalgia makes it a bit more interesting than you would think it would be. So uh, I really think he deserves 100 subscribers. He deserves more, actually, in my opinion. So if you haven't checked him out yet, uh, just go to his channel, Megafreak400. He's currently doing a Super Paper Mario Let's Play and a Donkey Kong Country 3 Let's Play. And he's also doing Wario's Woods that he's trying to finish up with. So yeah, uh, don't be afraid to check him out. Also, uh, 
Longtime enemy and rival of mine, Shadow Mario 41, uh, Shadow Mario XLI on YouTube, for those who actually try to look up Shadow Mario 41. Um, he has just announced that he's going to do a Donkey Kong Country 2 Let's Play. It's going to start in May sometime, so be sure you check that out whenever it gets released. I'll probably announce it in one of my other videos when it does release. And maybe give a link to it, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I wish him luck doing that project. He just uh, he just finished the main game of Perfect Dark right now. So he's kind of done with Perfect Dark. He probably has a few extra videos planned, but... Uh, his new project is going to be Perfect Dark. Um, da, Donkey Kong Country 2, so you might want to check that out. A lot of Let's Plays with Monkeys lately. Will I join the fab by doing another Donkey Kong game? Well, too soon to tell. I have some other games planned, but who knows? Who knows what I have planned? I might surprise you guys. But right now, uh, we have Fire Emblem to deal with. <laughs> Still got a, another month or so of me dealing with this project. Shouldn't be that long, though. Once I get into the uh, new rotation uh, next week, uh, all these videos should be coming out relatively quickly. Let's see. Making sure I do this exactly right, because I do not want to have my units on the bad end of a stick. Ooh, an energy drop. For those who don't remember, energy drops uh, permanently raise a unit's attack power by two. And also, uh, Volt got something else in another treasure chest that I forgot to mention. Uh, earlier he got the parity skill. Uh, the parity skill is kind of unique, but I wouldn't say it's a good skill at all. Uh, what parity does is it basically removes any bonuses uh, from a battle. So, you don't get... Uh, skill bonuses, you don't get terrain bonuses, weapon bonuses and uh, weapon weaknesses are not accounted for. It, it's basically just a skill used on uh, ability alone and not really um, advantages and weaknesses. Um, it sounds better than it actually is. Uh, sometimes you'll realize that you'll want those bonuses that you get from uh, certain things. And just, I don't know, parody just doesn't seem worth it sometimes, so... I'd advise you not to really try to equip that. Uh, there's one unit we'll get later on that already has parody equipped. But, uh, I'd also take it off that unit, to be honest. I just don't think parody is a very good skill. Some of you can prove me wrong if you want, but in the end it's my opinion, so... <laughs> screw you. I'm going to bust down this door, although I don't think there are any enemies behind this door. So I'm probably just doing it for all the wrong reasons. So I'll go ahead and move Rice over here. No, not the physics staff, you moron. Let's see what's in here. Nope, nothing in here, just a chest. Okay, Volk, go back over there. You have a chest to... Plunder. So we're in the last leg of this chapter. I don't think we'll really see any more units, actually. Uh, I think I think we still have to deal with some reinforcements that'll appear uh, in like three turns, uh, in the form of the two fighters and a warrior again. But this time they'll appear from the top right corner. But I'll just use the Hark, maybe Gotri to go back there and help defend them, or defeat them, not defend. Why would we want to defend them? I have no idea. Thanks to Adept, we managed to get rid of this say or mage in ample time. Yep! Oh, there's those forces right now, actually. They came a little earlier than I thought they would. Nothing wrong with that, though. Now, I would be careful, though, because one, the warrior has a killing axe, or a killer axe. So, um, I'd advise you not to uh, send a unit that can get killed in one hit by a killer axe. Like, I think when I checked the damage level, or the um, 
the damage that the warrior could have done on Zahark. Uh, it would have done 13 damage for a normal attack, and then uh, 39 damage for a critical attack. And if the critical attack hit, Zahark would have been dead. So you really want to be careful about who you use to take on units with killer weapons because keep in mind you can get very un you can get very unlucky and then just lose your unit immediately so just be very 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 careful well it looks like this video time is almost exhausted still got about 20 seconds left though I yeah, probably could have cut out this footage, but eh, I'll leave it in. I already cut out some footage for this video already. Okay, so this has been Slim Kirby. Let's play Path of Radiance. See you guys next video.